Hey, Libra, it's your girl Tasha, aka Mom Jim, aka Jen the Butterfly. Excuse me, y'all. I need to sit down the right way. I am here with your August 2016 monthly general tarot scope. And let's just get into it. Thank you for everybody who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and purchasing readings from me and following me on Instagram and all that good stuff. Let's see what we got coming in. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Doing a 10 card Celtic spread for you guys. Let's find out what's going on for my Libras. The very center of your reading, you have the sun in reverse. So I feel like even in the reverse, the sun is still a good card. That means, that, you know, whenever the sun is around, you know it's going to be shining. It's truth and rays and light all over your reading. OK, I feel like um, the reason why it's in reverse, I feel like the truth is there in a situation, but somebody's not willing to really accept it or see it for what it is. OK. Um, oh, the challenge, the fool card in um, in your challenge position here. Um, part of this truth that I feel that you're not willing to accept or see or acknowledge is that you are. You are embarking on a new trip. I feel like there is there is a need for some liveliness or some playfulness, some spontaneity within your life. I feel like things may have gotten a little mundane for you, Libra. Um, and the challenge is for you to let loose and have a little bit of fun. And it's not that fun is not around you. I feel like you just turn down certain situations where there could be fun. Okay. If somebody coming to you and like, hey, you want to do this? You're like, hey, is there fun there? And you're like, yeah. I was like, no. Why? Why are you restricting yourself, Libra? So I feel like there's some type of restriction there from you. Maybe you don't trust yourself. Um, I feel like maybe you don't trust yourself. Maybe you don't trust other people. Maybe you don't trust the situation. Maybe things feel like there is too good to be true. So you in, instead of um, you just, just being spontaneous or just jumping out there and having fun, you, you're feeling a little closed off to me, okay? But the sun is there, like I said. There, there is fun and there is happiness. There is bliss right there, but you just have to open your eyes to see it. Now, what's going on in your subconscious mind? You have the ace of wands. So it's like, okay, it's there, but you don't want to see it, but you want it at the same time. Libra, what's up? Okay. Like, I feel like this is all these wishful thinking. Like, I wish, you know, I would be able to do this. I feel like for some of you, you, you are saying in your mind, I want to be able to go out. I want to have friends. I want to date. I want to do this. And you're saying that this, these type of, uh, events or people or situations is not around, but in actuality it is. And I feel like you've been turning them down. Okay. Um, yeah, the most high has been trying to give it to you. It's right here, offering it to you. Right here. See that hand coming out the sky? It's been, he's he's offering it up to you. But I feel like the way it's being offered to you, you may not be able to see the full potential in it. And that's why you've been turning it down. Now, what's happened in the past for you coming up to this? The Ace of Cups. So I feel like for some of you, you have new beginnings all around. Okay? And you have been offered a new beginning, but I feel like it maybe there's still some cautiousness in here. Um, and you're kind you're kind of scared to to uh put your toe in the water, the little big toe when you're trying to test the water when you get in to see how it feel. You you you're a little scared to you just want to put your toe in just a little bit. You don't want to put everything else in because you're afraid something else is gonna happen. But I feel like with you, this is something that you have brought within your life through your manis manifestation of your own thoughts and your own mind and your own behaviors, and I feel like you have changed a lot of things in your life okay and you brought it in here by believing in yourself by believing in the situation deepening your faith praying listening to your intuition developing your confidence manifesting doing whatever you do rituals whatever you do you you brought this into yourself here again another hand okay you've been gifted something again so it's like you you've been gifted it 
but now you're scared of what you got. All right. Let's look at what you have in your conscious mind. You have the king of wands in reverse. I feel like Libra. It's like you do. You feel like you're not worthy. You feel like you're not worthy of these blessings that are coming here to you. And it's, um, or maybe you're, you're, I don't, well, some of you may be feeling like you're not worthy. I feel like for some of you, maybe it's still hard to believe. Maybe you're still trying to um, accept that you are in a new phase within your life. You know, maybe things, I feel like. Um, things could have happened very quickly for you and it took you by surprise. And so you're still trying to catch up with that. But understand, boo, the King of Wands is a boss. All right. And the reason why he's coming up in reverse for you is because you are a boss and you don't realize it. You don't realize it. Or maybe you feel like you're not deserving of these things. But we got to get this card in uh, the upright position for you because this is this is where you're this is your birthright. This is where you are. Okay. This is what the Most High is trying to let you know that this is your status here to be sitting on the throne. You're regal, okay? Don't think, don't accept anything less. Don't deny yourself because I feel like for some of you, you've been denying yourself out of fear, not because it's like fear and caution. What's coming up within um, towards the middle of the month, towards the end of the month? <sighs> yes, beautiful. The Four of Wands. Now. What I would say with the four of wands, maybe this is a love, maybe this is a love situation. Maybe you've been having, um, maybe you met somebody in the recent past and you felt like it was too good to be true. And maybe this person is trying to move in with you. Maybe this person is a, a fire sign that's been trying to get things, um, trying to build with you, but you're scared. Okay. You, you're not sure if it's going to, you, you're scared about how this thing is going to pan out. But I feel like towards the middle of the month, if there could be offers to try to move in with each other or take things to the next level or to try to build. Could be even some engagements. Okay. Um, <clears throat> some of y'all may find out you're pregnant too. I just want to let you know. Just want to let you know. When I see this Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Four of Wands, the Sun, the Fool, Ace of Wands, you have a lot of new beginnings. I feel like there's there's energy here. You know, if you guys are not looking for a baby, you better wrap it up. I'm just telling you now. Okay. Um, there is in, some of you may find out that you're pregnant and your 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 um uh, boyfriend or girlfriend may go ahead and suggest to you, like, listen, we're gonna get we're gonna be together anyway. So might as well let's just go ahead and move in together. You need to pack your stuff up, turn your lease, turn, you know, um turn your lease in, not turn your lease in. Cancel your lease. Notify them that you're canceling your lease and you're moving with me, or I'm gonna move in with you. I feel like it could be it could be that type of um, energy too. Also, um, I'm hearing that some of you who have uh, some of you may be in a new home. Yes, I have a Libra friend that's in a new home. Um, I feel like some of you, your actual son. Son or daughter, but I feel strongly son may actually be getting married or maybe leaving the home, um, going off to school. And this has brought you to a new place again, because this is a new beginning. You are experiencing that empty nester syndrome. Okay. And you are, you maybe like, this has been the time where in your life you've been praying for this day. Like, I can't wait for these kids to leave the house. And now the kids are leaving and it's getting, it's hitting you like, oh shit. Now what I do, what, you know, how to, again, what is fun? Because you've been devoting your whole life to the development of your child. Now it's time for you to put that energy back into yourself. And it kind of got, it, it happened a little quicker than what you thought, like I said. So, you know, that's what's coming up. To, and it is August. So a lot of kids will be going off to school or, um, yeah, starting, maybe they're starting their senior year or maybe they're starting their freshman year at, at college. And so it's kind of taking you by surprise, <clears throat> of course. You are on your own right now. You're doing your damn thing. And like I said, for some of you, you are very self-sufficient. You're very independent. You got it going on. But I feel like you need to see that you got it going on. I don't feel like for a lot of you, you don't recognize that. All right. <clears throat> you got everything going on. Um, everything is going on right in your life. I just need for you to see it, Libras. Simple and plain. Um, how your environment is seeing you. Again, everybody see it but you. 
Everybody see you as an empress. Everybody see you as male or female. You are, you are living the ideal life. Things are going right in your life. But I need for you to see it again. You got to get this solar plexus energy up. You have yellow all over this reading. I feel like for you, some of you need to be out in the sun. Some of you need to be, excuse me. Some of you need to be out in the sun. Some of you need to be definitely meditating, listening to um, solar plexus meditations on YouTube, if that's what you like to do. Some of you maybe need to get some sunstone, some citrine, some um, honey calcite, um, some carnelian would actually work better for you. I, I just feel like you need to know um, that you, you're here. Okay, it probably you probably got here quicker than what you thought you are you were, but you're here. It's time to let loose and have a little bit of fun. Okay, get back to um, some people see you as like this multi talented person, and it's a shame because you don't see yourself as a multi talented person. Some people see you as multifaceted. Some people see you as a jack of all trades. Some people see you as an ideal woman or man, but you don't see it. Like I said, you don't see it. It's time for you to see it. OK, and I feel like once you start to see it, things are going to start to turn around for you. Now, again, Ace of Pentacles, you have so many new beginnings. You have one, two, three aces so far within this uh, reading. This is a beautiful reading, guys. You have the Ace of Pentacles there. You're just hoping for financial stability. Baby, it's already here. OK, it, it, you know, and I feel like one of the reasons why you feel like it's not here yet is because maybe you may be feeling like financially you still have some improvements but understand you're at the beginning okay the bad day the the, the days of your, your checkbooks being overdraft and trying to struggle to get school clothes school money and whatever any little cost expenses that's that's it's not gonna be like that anymore okay it's not going to be like that. I, I just don't, I don't feel like this is a very pivotal month for my Libras. And, but a part of this, this energy being able to, for a part of, a part of you being able to cultivate this energy to its fullest potential is for you to believe that the, that the past is really in the past and opening yourself up to a brighter world that's right here the world is here but as you have to you have to open yourself up to and you have to see yourself in it and uh what's coming up towards the end of the month you have the three of wands in reverse i feel like there may be some delays i feel like um it could be delays but i feel like this is good energy for you because i feel like you need to sit still and where you at so you can see what you have okay Stop getting into this uh, mode of thinking that you don't have enough or you're looking for more than what you already have at this point in time. Take an assessment. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be taking assessments. And instead of looking for it, you're going to be stopping and looking around at everything that you have at this point in time. You're going to be taking an inventory of where you are now compared to where you were maybe three months ago, six months ago, six years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. You're going to be looking and it is going to come to you like, oh shit, I have been through a lot and I'm, I've conquered a lot. And I feel like for some of you, that's going to be...